Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is my spring favorites. I'm so excited. I've gathered, gathered, whew, I've gathered all the products that I've been loving lately and I can't wait to share them with you. So I'm going to start off with skincare. Um, this, uh, these first two products were some that were sent to me by um, Botanics. I have had products sent to me before by them and I love everything that I try. It's a super affordable um, botanical, cruelty-free, natural skincare brand that's from the Boots in the UK. I used to be able to find it in my Target and I can't now so I have to find it online to purchase. Um, but this 100% organic with rose water refreshing toning spritz has been amazing. So I've been self tanning lately. You can't tell now because it's worn off tonight's tanning night, but I've been really focusing on hydrating my skin. So I've been spraying this on my face and um, along my chest just to add a little bit of extra hydration. It soaks in so nicely and it makes my skin look brighter and fresher and way more hydrated than I could ever do with a regular moisturizer. I do put a moisturizer over the top of it and this just adds to everything. It's amazing. Next, this is from the All Bright line. I think that was from the All Bright line, wasn't it? No, this was from their organic line. This is the All Bright with Hibiscus Micellar 3-in-1 Cleansing Solution. So this is a makeup remover and it's also a skin brightener because it has hibiscus in it and I love it. I love micellar water for removing my makeup. I can't use it on my eyes. I have super, super sensitive eyes, which I'm about to get to in a minute, and I can't use micellar water on my eyes because it makes them very sensitive, and um, I just haven't found any micellar water that works on my eyes. But this is really great for removing your makeup and then also giving you like a fresh glow. It's so nice. It removes it so easily, and my skin feels amazing after using it. Speaking of eyes, I got an eye makeup remover in a Petty War box a few months ago, and I was a little bit skeptical, skeptical, <laughs> because it's a foaming eye cleanser, and I just thought that a foam would just get all in my eye and dry it out. I have dry eyes anyways, I have allergies, I have very sensitive reactive eyes, and I have only found a few makeup removers that actually work and don't make my eyes feel like they just are gonna pop out of my head. That sounds really gross, but like they feel so swollen sometimes if I use the wrong eye makeup remover that I've just had to find ones that work and just stick with them. So, all that to say, I was a little bit skeptical of the We Love Eyes eye makeup remover, but it's a tea tree eyelid and eyelash foaming cleanser. So you dispense two pumps onto your fingertips and then gently rub onto your eyelids and eyelashes and then you rinse with water. So this removes my makeup. Um, I will, I've tried it so many different ways. So I've tried it, putting it on my face like, or putting it on my eyes dry um, and it completely removes all of my makeup that way. Um, sometimes my, mas my mascara, once it's like, like melted off of my eyelashes it gets in my eyes which is another part of the problem of like my sensitive eyes like my makeup if it gets in my eyes it's like it's so bad I don't know if everyone has this problem but it's like a real problem for me so what I've been doing is getting my fingertips wet and then slowly like like loosening up my mascara I mean super gently and then just like slowly like loosening all the mascara on my eyelashes. I don't wear waterproof by the way, so this helps with that. Um, and then once everything's loosened up, then I go in with this and then everything just rinses clean. It's amazing. So my eyes have actually been feeling a lot better since I've been using this. So I actually ordered this on Amazon and it's $20. It lasted, I think about five months for me. Um, so the full size was in the Petty Vore, it lasted five months and then I bought this one and it is 100% worth it because to not have like irritated eyes, it just feels so much better. So we're heading into the warmer months and as I said, I've been tanning and my favorite tanner has been the Pure, wait, let me get the name right. Everything has such long names now, like why can't we just call this? water tanner, I don't know. Anyways, it's the Saint Tropez 
self tan purity bronzing water mousse it is a obviously clear self tanner so you don't have the color guide to show you where it's going your skin looks like glistening whenever you're putting it on so you can see where you're putting it um, but the color guide since there's no color guide it won't rub off on your sheets or your clothes you can wear this during the day this has a very tropical scent to it and I've seen a lot of reviews that say it doesn't smell like self tanner and maybe I just have a sensitive nose but as it develops I smell the self tanner smell it smells stronger as it goes on but that's fine to me because I'm sleeping I do it at night and then like let it set overnight and then rinse it off in the morning so I mean it doesn't really bug me but the part that I love is that when I put this on before I've gone to sleep, I don't smell the self tanner smell. Like it just smells like the tropical pineapple coconut smell. Maybe not pineapple, but it smells really good. It smells like a tropical scent. Yeah, it smells like the beach. Yeah, it smells really good. So I think that as it develops, it smells like self tanner, but when you first put it on, it doesn't. It smells so good. Um, and it's been really, really easy to apply. So I have been applying it with a Tarte tanning mitt and I don't buy Tarte anymore. This is leftover from before when I went cruelty free. I know that they're a cruelty free company, but their parent company is not cruelty free the last time I checked. Um, so I haven't been buying Tarte, <laughs> but this is leftover and, um, you know, if you do support cruelty free companies that have parent companies that aren't cruelty free, then, um, this is a really great option for a tanning mint. I think it's better than the St. Tropez ones. I just say that. I think it's like, it's fuzzy and it just goes on smoother. So I like that one a lot. Um, I don't use that self tanner on my face. So I've been using this on my face. I can't tell you how excited I am about this self tanner for my face. So if you follow Michelle1812, I think is what her username is. I follow her on YouTube and Instagram, um, but she has a lot of great recommendations on her Instagram, like in her Insta stories. And she had been recommend recommending this Kula Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. So it's a face serum that's like anti-aging, but also gives you a glow it's amazing it is cruelty free no GMO and vegan and I f I first tried a Kula sunscreen years ago in a beer birch box and I was like blown away with like how good my face felt but I was also getting like some protection from the moisture it was amazing I was I it just stuck in my head that Kula is a really good brand so um, it comes in this box there's also like a smaller set that you can get that was sold out when I got this. So this is $54. It's pretty pricey. Um, it is amazing though. I mean, it is, it just gives your face like a glow. I'm gonna, there's a Milani foundation video that's on my channel. And during the second part of that video, I just think my skin looks amazing. It's because I used this the night before and, um, yeah, if you go watch that video, let me know what you think of my skin and the second part of that video because I feel like I look fine pale, but I just looked like I had a radiant glow about my skin and I was just like a little bit more tan. It looked really good. Um, so I've been loving this. It's expensive, 100% worth it. I am so glad I got the large size because I think it'll last me all summer because I am not super like strict about a tanning routine. I've been trying to do that, but I've like basically I'll tan like Friday and Saturday night in the last week, but like I didn't do it last weekend and I'm fine with that. I have, you know, it's whatever. Um, so I think that will last me the whole summer is what I'm trying to say. Also, I wanted to mention this because if you self tan, it's super, super important to moisturize your skin because the self tanner like will bind to dead skin cells and that's what makes it look patchy is if like you have, if you haven't exfoliated and moisturized well, then it's just not gonna look smooth. Um, so I know that I've put up a Grove Collaborative haul before on my channel here. And so you know I love them, but this is the Grove Collaborative Coconut Body Lotion with Moisturizing Coconut and Rose Hip Oil this smells so good. If you like 
rose scented things or floral scented things this smells amazing but even if you don't like if you're not crazy about floral scents this smells so good like it's not overpowering it just it's like a really girly scent and i've been loving this i've actually been spraying my one love organics body serum on first and then putting this over it and the scent of the body serum is gardenia and then like this with the gardenia it just feels so good so i've been doing that on the nights that i don't tan so that i can keep my skin hydrated but this was actually a free product i think i got to like a certain dollar amount of my cart where i got a free one um but this is amazing i will buy this again it's amazing so I only have a few makeup products because a lot of the things I've been using I've talked about before like for a long time so I don't want to talk about them again but I have had a little bit of kind of like a certain style with my makeup lately and I just want to look like fresh and glowy and not too made up. Um, so a lot of brightening products, a lot of highlighter, um, a lot of dewy foundation. So I just want to highlight a few, oh highlight. <laughs> No pun intended. I just want to highlight a few of my highlights. Um, so under my eyes, I've been using this Becca Illuminator. It's called an Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I've been using this for months and it's amazing. So it comes in this little pot and it's like a pink color, which I think is very pretty. And I just put this um, under my concealer and it brightens my under eyes. I have very dark under eyes. It's really annoying and I feel like I have to like pile on the product to cover up my under eyes but then I don't want it to look flat so this really helps kind of like bring a little bit of life back to my eyes I really like that um, next a cushion foundation this is the wet n wild mega cushion foundation it's cruelty free they have brat stalls on the packaging I don't understand that but whatever um, so if you've never seen a cushion foundation they come in a little compact like this this looks really dark but it matches me perfectly so i have used this numerous ways i've used it by itself i used it with a color corrector from the same line i've used it over a milani foundation um yesterday i was using a milani foundation and it just like i just put like one layer not a lot of coverage but i didn't want to do a second layer so i just did this like on the front of my cheeks where i have a lot of redness and my skin like looked really good so i love this if I want to look just radiant and healthy and but cover up some of my skin concerns on my skin, then I will use this and it's amazing. I love it. I don't, I think I've said amazing too much, but whatever. I have two more products. This one is from Milani. It is a no, it is, an, it is an illuminating face powder and the color is Hermosa Rose and it has all these gorgeous rose tones in it. So it's a bronzer blush highlighter all in one and you can swirl them around to make a gorgeous color. I'm wearing it today and it just has a really gorgeous brightening effect to my skin. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just like the perfect like warm tone for spring and summer and I love it, it's so pretty. Last but not least, I just talked about highlighters on my blog and in a video and then I get ready with me with this highlighter and I probably shouldn't talk about this again but I really, really love it. It's from XO Beauty and it's the Radiant Glow Highlight Powder. Oh, oh hey, hey. <laughs> A highlighter and it's a cool toned highlighter and it's very very finely milled so it doesn't get chunky on your face or emphasize texture it is gorgeous like I imagine that Shannon put so much effort into making this highlight perfect and as you can see it just gives you like a natural lit from within glow and it's so pretty I love it um, I just use it I apply it with like a little elf little brush and Perfect. I should probably get a fan brush. A lot of people apply highlighter with fan brushes. Maybe I should get one. Anyways, it's so pretty. I love it. So those are my spring favorites. I've been feeling super fresh and highlighted and a little bit tan lately. So I hope this was helpful for you to get in the mood for spring and summer. I can't wait to do my summer favorites because my goal this year is to actually like 
getting dressed and doing my makeup in the summer. And it's a little bit difficult in the south when it's hot and humid. But I'm going to do my darndest to be happy this summer. I am a winter person. I love winter. I love fall. Give me cold weather any day of the year and I'm happy. But I am determined to love summer this year. I don't know why. I just want to love all the seasons. And I do. I enjoy all the seasons. But I just want to love summer a little bit more and just like really appreciate it. So I can't wait for my summer favorites. I really don't love doing quarterly favorites. I know I've said that in my last favorites, but it's just, this is so much better for me to share like what I'm using seasonally. And I love it. And I hope you love it too, but let me know your thoughts on that down below. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry I rambled and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.